Good morning students. Today we will discuss about electrical damped harmonic oscillator. In the previous lectures we have discussed about mechanical and electrical simple harmonic oscillators and then we have discussed about mechanical damped harmonic oscillator. Today we will discuss about electrical damped harmonic oscillator which consists of an EMF source E. There is a switch. is 
smaller than omega square and we will get our iota right you can again consult my previous lecture for mechanical then the harmonic oscillator for this solution the on solving the equation for light dipping which is our real case real case we can get the value for our charge q right we can calculate for q and whatever q comes for our light dipping case we can solve for light dipping case as we can get q is equal to a a e to power minus rt and we can get in terms of sine or in terms of cos both we are writing in terms of sine sine omega dash t plus phi this is similar to the expression for mechanical damped harmonic oscillator where q was replaced by x so we can check that is the equation number 4 here you can have different equation number on solving further right then we will get amplitude amplitude the amplitude will be equal to a equal to a e to the power minus rt or we can write q not e to the power minus rt right because q is equal to q not e to the power minus rt we can also write then we will have our angular frequency frequency we will have our omega dash omega dash what is our omega dash omega dash is equal to omega square minus r square right where omega is is the angular frequency for damped harmonic oscillator omega is the angular frequency for undamped harmonic oscillator or simple harmonic oscillator the linear frequency will be linear frequency will be nu is equal to nu dash is equal to omega dash upon 2 pi and we will get under root omega square minus r square upon 2 pi then time period time period time period will be t dash is equal to 1 upon nu dash and we will get 2 pi upon under root omega square minus r square or 2 pi upon omega dash we can check this that t dash is greater than t what is t 2 pi upon omega because this term is omega square minus r square this is a smaller quantity therefore t dash is greater than t the time required for one oscillation for damped oscillators is more than the time required for single oscillation for simple oscillator right one more thing i will discuss it here that is the relaxation time relaxation time right so the relaxation time it is represented by tau it is the time period in which the amplitude reduces to 1 upon e times of the initial amplitude it is the time in which amplitude reduces to 1 upon e times of initial amplitude amplitude so we can write write this is our amplitude this one so we can write q is equal to q not e to the power minus r t so replacing t by tau we can replace q by q not upon e so we will get q not upon e is equal to q not e to the power minus r t q not gets cancels out we will get e to the power minus 1 is equal to e to the power minus r t or we will have this is our tau this is our tau we will have tau is equal to 1 by r tau is equal to 1 by r this is our relaxation time and what is our r r is equal to r by 12 right so we can get tau is equal to we can write r is equal to again you can check r is equal to r by 2l we have r by 2l so therefore we will get tau is equal to 
2l by r 2l by r this is the relaxation time in the similar we can also calculate the mean life time for mechanical damped harmonic oscillator which can be defined as the time in which the displacement reduces or the displacement amplitude reduces to 1 upon e times so there we can also calculate in the mechanical damped harmonic oscillator we can also calculate the mean life time and that can be calculated as that comes out again to be 1 upon r or 2m upon 